in this episode, we're going to go toy hunting in cyberspace. So, stick around. Round one. Fight. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Rob versus the Internet. In this episode, we're going to take a look at my most recent toys I wish I had as a kid. Part five this time. And we're going to take a look at those toys that I talked about and how much they are worth today on eBay. Now, I can tell you right now, I will not be buying any today, but... If something catches my eye, it's going to go on my watch list, and who knows? As I said, this is a follow-up episode to Toys I Wish I Had as a Kid. I just did the fifth installment of it, and if this is something that everybody enjoys, maybe I'll cover the four previous ones with an episode like this. I think it would be really fun to take a look at how much those lost opportunities I've talked about in the Toys I Wish I Had episodes, how much those lost opportunities would cost me today. So, without further ado, let's jump into eBay and see how much some of those are today. Uh, before I start, let me go over the rules of this, so this won't be a three-hour video. I will look at what the relevant search is, and we'll look at the first couple listings for each, and we'll go from there, and we'll look at all five of the toys that I talked about in the Toys I Wish I Had Part 5 episode. So, let's do it. The first thing I talked about was Reflector from Hasbro 1986. Like I said in the episode, it was a wide release in Japan in 85, but when it came to the States, it was a Mail Away exclusive. It cost $10 back then and two robot points. So let's see how much eBay says Reflector goes for today. So Reflector Transformers 1986. Search. So, best match, get all this junk off of here, whoa, mint, 100% complete from 1986, vintage Hasbro G1 Transformers action figure, whoo, $415.07, that's kind of odd, so, I'll tell you right now, too rich for my blood. So let's drop down here to this $45 one. 1986 Transformers G1 Reflector Viewfinder Spectro Spyglass Action Figure Hasbro. So let's see what kind of condition this one is in for $45. Hey, I see you. So let's zoom over here. I'm missing some stickers, a little wear and tear. Dude's head's popping up. Can't say if that's normal or not. A little scuffed up here and there. You know, to be honest, in this condition, Oh, whoa. What happened to this dude? Holy heck. Oh, whew. that's just a shadow. I thought half his face was gone. But normal wear and tear, probably from a kid at the time. But like I was saying, if I was to find this at a flea market... For maybe $30, I wouldn't have any problem with paying that. But 
45. Hmm. That seems to be the best deal that there is. But let's check this mint one to see how this $45 one fares. Now this mint comes with all the gear. Wow, it even comes with the uh, where the missiles popped off of. Got a lens there. Let's see here. Now, I think that $45 one was missing this lens right here. And of course it's missing all this cool stuff to boot. So, for 45 that one might not be that bad. I would wish for a better one. Here's one that's $139.99. Even comes with the book. Wow. Wow, the guns themselves go for $23.99. Gee Louise. So, yeah, that unfortunately will have to be something that is uh, uh, something I'll always want and never have. I know that there's some newer versions of them, so maybe that's something to look into another day. Anyway, let's check out the next thing here. And that was the Talking Kit 2000 from Kenner from 1983. So, Talking Kit 1983. Holy... Here's one still in the box for 200 bucks. Well, not still in the box, but comes with the box. Ooh, a little chewed up there. Wow, still nice and shiny. Doors open. Stickers look good. If I had 200 bucks, no. I might. Uh, oh, like I said, Darth Vader's bathroom. And that's a line from the episode. The pilot episode, or movie. There's old Michael Knight. Look at that belt buckle. That's awesome. Great condition. Comes with the box. I could see that being a $200 item. Again, a little too rich for my blood. So, let's see what else they have. Ooh, let's take a gander at these stickers real quick. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> now you're talking. And right there, again, see? The seating, the cockpit, whatever you want to call it, is iconic. I mean, that's where... Michael and Kit would talk mostly, other than his wrist communicator, which was awesome too. So you got some cheesecake pictures of the old Hoff here. I can't tell what that one is because it's a little shiny, but I bet it's the iconic Kit coming across the desert. <clears throat> awesome. How much do they want these stickers for? Ten bucks? I'm going to add that to watch list. Boink. See, that's the kind of stuff that I gravitate towards now because it's weird. I mean, getting Knight Rider stickers still in their sleeve, that's pretty awesome to me. But as far as talking kit goes, we don't really have that many uh, hits here. It says... Fewer words. I've only put in three words. Talking Kit 1983. Anyway, we'll say this one's a bust. Or should I try another? Here, let's look up Knight Rider Toy 1983. 
this might yield some other results. Dark Raider. <laughs> I'm assuming that is a bootleg and that's awesome. Here we got a complete for 130. Oh, here's a complete for 75 bucks. Comparatively, that's not too bad. Here's another Dark Rider. Heck yeah. Whoa. Jump up to 300 here. Mmm. Whew. I'm going to say 75 is the cheapest we'll find. Doesn't come with the box, but let's see what kind of shape it is in. This looks like it's in pretty good shape, the picture here. But let's see. It looks great. Still looks shiny. Got his belt buckle. That was... Hmm. Is that some coloring somebody did? I could live with that. Battery compartment looks pretty clean. This dude displayed it the way it should be. Awesome. Anyway, 75 bucks, still too rich for me. So, let's jump to the next thing on the list. And as you can see, I was looking for Disney pins because we have a Disney trip coming up. And that is the Energized Spider-Man from Remco from 1978. So... Energized. And look, top view, Spider-Man, and also the Batman, which I'll talk about in a future episode because I wanted that one too. But we're here for Spider-Man. Let's check them out. There's a busted one for $14.50. Hmm, but look below it. Nine ninety five. No, what could be wrong with it? Let's see. Um, looks a little dusty. Maybe his line won't go back in. I ain't hating on that. Like I said, if I saw the, ooh, missing the battery compartment, that kind of stinks. But if he was sitting on a shelf, you wouldn't notice that. Let's see what it says here. All these other cool Spider-Man figures. <sighs> Comes exactly as shown. It is missing the battery cover and has wear as shown. I put a battery in it and couldn't get it to do anything. So, no wall crawling for this dude. Hmm. Ten bucks, like I said, if I went to a flea market and saw it in a box for ten bucks, I'd probably get it. But eBay with eight dollars shipping on top of that, maybe not. Here's another one that'll end up on one of my lists one day. Three hundred, but it comes with the box in the dire directions here, but the Green Goblin. Skip over this, like I said, until another day. Here he is in box for $180. $10 shipping. Whoa, Green Goblin. Pricey. One thing I forgot to mention is when I talked about it in the previous episode that he had a helicopter and it plugged into his little doohickey, I think, and it, you know, rotated and did stuff. So that's pretty cool, too. But, out of all these options to save a couple bucks, whoa, here's one for $17.99. Figure, as is, let's see what, ooh, bad picture, homie. There we go, that's a better one. Mm, looks in good shape here, at least. Not bad. Missing battery compartment. That must be a big deal. So let's just say for 10 bucks, I could get one. 
not too shabby. I'm not going to put it on the watch list because I would hope to find one, you know, maybe a little bit more money, but with the battery compartment. <laughs> Energizer bunny. Anyway, next was Crusher from Mattel, 1979. So let's look him up. Crusher, 1979. Toy. There we go. Man, beautiful. 115 with the box. If I had the money, I'd definitely get that. 80 bucks, 55, 100. Whoa, 600. Unused. Whoa. 189, 90, 85, 50. That's the cheapest we've seen. What well, cops figure? Let's see what 50 bucks gets you over what the other ones would get you. 50 bucks. Look at this face. Look at it. Whenever it loads. Come on. Boom. Little, uh, little wear, but that's awesome. It adds personality. Not hating. I want to add that to the watch list. Bink. Let's see what it says. He's about 13 inches tall and big and green and squishy. The orange valve on his belt turns freely and he stands unaided. That's cool. I don't know how he was supposed to work, so he is offered as is, but he's not deflated as I saw in other sales. Not brittle or split. Zoom in on the pics to see paint wear. 50 bucks? Heck yeah. Definitely would want to get him. So I'll put him on the watch list and, uh, Never know, maybe I'll ask Santa for him, if he's still around by then. Say, I might, Santa owes me a couple favors, so we'll see. So, the last on the list was My Pet Monster. Came out in 1986 from American Greetings. So, let's see how much My Pet Monster goes for nowadays, and if it's an obtainable goal. So, My Pet Monster. 1986. Because we want the original. Hey, there's one of the little ones. Wogster. 75. Mmm, his feet are all toe up. 125. 200. 45 bucks. What's wrong with this one? No handcuffs. Eh, I can live without the handcuffs. Looks good. Let's see what it says. Well, let's look at the pictures. Pictures sometimes speak a thousand words. Can I... There we go. A little wear on the tooth. I wonder if that could be cleaned up. Mm, one foot has some... Wear some rubbing on it. Hand might have a little cracking going on. Ooh, yeah, that's got some wear on it. Super wear. For 45 mm, If I would see that at a flea market with that wear, I would maybe want it for 20 Excuse the guest. But anyway, 50 with handcuffs. Hmm, might be hard. If I had 50 bucks, would I get Crusher or my pet monster? Hmm, choices, choices. Good condition from here. Has his handcuffs. Ooh, his hand's a little, uh... Ooh, ooh. Yeah... I'm assuming that is a known wearing issue, and um, you're going to pay for it not to be worn. 
Got a lot of his uh, little cohorts here. They're neat. 16 for this dude. Not bad. Two bids, though. I like it. I like it a lot. Not too familiar with these guys. Forty for them. Sixteen with four dollars shipping. Twenty-five or thirty-four. Well, this one's got two bids on it, so I know I'm not going to touch it. Two days left. So this dude for twenty-five. Add it to my watch list. I like him. 25 doesn't seem that bad. Okay, there we go. Added to the watch list. But, to get a reasonable... Hmm. To get a well... Taken care of monster, you're going to pay upwards to over 100, it looks like. So, that might be for another day. Got a cat here causing problems. So, we'll end it there before she walks over the keyboard and turns it all off for me. So, <clears throat> if you enjoyed this little follow-up episode to the uh, Toys I Wish I Had as a Kid episode, the fifth installment... Well, anyway, if you liked it, excuse the cat, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them, and I love getting back to you all. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe. When I look at my analytics, most of the viewers are not subscribed. So just click the button. You'll get more great episodes like this twice a week. Anyway, until next time. Keep being rad and stay dorky.